celebrate the love between Johnny and Sadie. It means the world to them that we are all able to be here together on such short notice. So, thank you. <laughs> 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 really <clubbed>. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that shotgun? Where's the shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> now, what is a wedding? <laughs> well, Webster's Dictionary <laughs> describes it as the process of pulling weeds from one's garden. <laughs> so, think about that. <laughs> Around 12 years ago, Johnny came back to LA from a trip to Aspen and told me he had fallen in love with a girl named Sadie. He was absolutely obsessed with her. <laughs> he was also very, very worried. It wouldn't work out due to the distance, she'd lose interest, that it ultimately end up just a passing fling for her. <laughs> of course, that's not what happened. And here we are today. Who would have thought it would all eventually lead to this? Most people. <laughs> the love Johnny and Sadie have for each other is so rare in this world. I've never seen two people more perfectly matched. They love each other just as much as they did in the beginning, perhaps more so. That's not sentimental wedding stuff. That's true. <laughs> They've already been together longer than most marriages last. <laughs> hey, look around. <laughs> How do they do it? I don't know. Nobody does. But it's been one of the greatest gifts of my life that I've been able to be along for the ride. You two are going to be great parents. Aww. And I can't wait. And I'm glad you finally decided to do this. <laughs> Apparently, I'm supposed to give you some wise words or advice, but I have no notes. You guys should just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> now, I would like to introduce Sadie's mom, Kel Alford, who will be sharing a blessing for this marriage. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful sight. I know. I'm just looking at it. Yeah. Wow. Sadie and Johnny, the roots of your friendship and love are planted firmly in community. From your first remembered encounter on the steps of the central area of the Aspen Community School, costumed for Halloween in elementary school. One scary and one sweet. You have been held with care and love by a robust web of mischievous friends. You know who you are. <laughs> Curious teachers, generous surrogate parents, and extra families. Adoring brothers and sisters galore. <laughs> Step and half and full. Okay, is that better? Not start. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Adoring brothers and sisters galore, step and half and full. Double moms and double dads. Weaving together love and longing and laughter to ensure that you were always wrapped in family and home. You've experienced splitting and blending and splicing loss and longing and coming and going and coming out. All the while you were surrounded by books and music and art and the love of learning so deep it will never leave you. Schooled in care and respect for your beautiful valley and the natural world beyond dipped over and around her in adventure and wilderness. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> From this soil, you grew up and out and apart for a little while to opposite coasts, still held 
in your precious and loving communities, still watching out for once and one another, sensing a bond. We met again and again, drawn together by friends and family, holidays and parties. Watermelon and <laughs> <laughs> asking one another could we be in love and with Johnny's emphatic yes <laughs> you bravely joined together in love and life you headed west to the city of angels where for more than a decade together you have made art and new friends and nurtured your talents into vocations you have made where you have made mistakes and experienced success. Finding equilibrium now, nested together in a new home, spinning a new web of community to support and love you. Sadie, you call Marlo sweet and calming and calm. You call him stable and loving. You call him funny and smart. Johnny, you call Sadie creative and supportive and solid. You call her Billy. <laughs> and gorgeous <laughs> and funny and smart. <coughs> Sadie. Sadie, Johnny, Marlo, Harvey, Buggy Tunes Kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling us here today to celebrate your love and witness the promises you make together. We are friends and family teachers, surrogate parents, moms, dads, sisters, and brothers of all kinds. And two beautiful nieces. <laughs> One growing up fast and precocious. There she is. <laughs> and one brand new and, yes, turns out, precocious in training. <laughs> And one beautiful baby boy poppy seed belly bound and baking. <laughs> Growing up quickly. We all promise to hold you from this day forward in webs of community filled as they are with love and care and learning and respect and curiosity and spun as they are securely around you. Sadie and Johnny, you have each other's backs. When there was scarcity, you had a treasure trove of kisses. Where there was darkness, the glow of love leads you out. When there was loss, you found sanctuary in each other's arms. When there was uncertainty, you were bolstered by the steadfast presence of one another. You are artists. You have already begun to assemble toolkits for thriving filled with second and third and fourth chances and resilience and audacity and a robust web of well-practiced and a well-practiced sense of humor. And most critically with a deep and abiding faith in the resurrected power of the creative act as a way of being, of nurturing possibility where there had only been hopelessness of beginning again when things had ended. As you join your lives together today, the wisdom of this creative toolkit will serve you well. When scarcity and fear and emptiness and long, longing and loss return, and they will, you have honed these talents, you know these verbs well. Remember to invent new nicknames for one another. <laughs> Compose new lyrics for old songs. Imagine fresh solutions for tired dilemmas. Reframe your disagreements with understanding and empathy. Weave optimism with realism. Develop patience for things to come. Capture the best parts of one another. Retouch conversations that have gone sideways. And most essentially, remember to make each other laugh upon waking each morning. And make each other comforting only hot drinks, <laughs> even though you're fierce for a fiasco and not. Mm -hmm. still, okay. No thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Accompanied by this spirit of creativity and imagination and regeneration, you will journey well together. We are your community now and forever. 
you are family now and forever. We will do our best to remind you when you ask, and may you remember to remind each other, yes, always, yes. And now, to just get the energy going, we will, sorry, to get the energy going, we're going to do a communal supportive yes three times on the count of three. One, two, three. Yes! 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. All right, now Sadie and Johnny have prepared some vows that they would like to read. Sadie, you're first. lives together. It is impossible for me not to think of the myriad mornings you made me laugh until I cry. <laughs> How you managed to fall in love with someone who literally couldn't stop uncontrollably weeping at everything you said is a great mystery to me. <laughs> I know these mornings are precious to us both, and so we will have a prophecy between us <laughs> to share them with to laugh and blow raspberries. <laughs> and to tell our stories too. Some of our very best moments are in our adventures. Nothing too grand, but with a general agreement that we will try it, just go. Step over the fallen tree that might indicate that a trail is closed. <laughs> and push onward through all the groves and along the cliffs, allowing tenderness and curiosity and ease to guide us until we find ourselves nestled into a perfect and packed restaurant in Cornelia. <laughs> I love being surprised by our good fortune. Even when we're sitting soaking wet in ankle deep water, sipping champagne in Venice. I love the way you watch the stars. I love the way you watch the stars reflected that night in the perfect stillness of our floating courtyard. How much the beauty of that moment touched you. I love how touched you are by the romance. <laughs> <laughs> you take risks, risks that I might not take on my own. I take long walks, maybe longer than you would like. <laughs> and somewhere in the middle, in the mashup of our two beings, there exists a magical and soothing world. One that is never reckless, but is still exciting. <laughs> Fairly well planned, even in its spontaneity. <laughs> Allowing for beautiful things to happen to us. Our love is formed by a blissful dedication to each other, to each moment together a mutual, mutual respect, and a simple, simple commitment to a creative life. Now, when we are looking towards the future, wrestling with the intangible notion of forever, <laughs> it's clear to me that the core tenets of our 11 and a half years of love are what will carry us forward. Humor, ease, independence, tenderness, and joy, a gentleness as we watch each other grow, friendship, adventures big and small, a pop and seed. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs>
Bear with me, eh? <laughs> Dear Johnny, as I write this letter, I think you'll probably be around seventh grade. Your hair neatly cropped into a uh, round bowl around your head. Wearing the red sweatpants your mom made you. There are so many things I wish to tell you about what's to come. But at the top of the list, I want to make sure that you're kind to a young girl. <laughs> With freckles and long eyelashes downstairs in the second room. <laughs> I want to tell you that someday, not long from now, you'll reconnect. And with, uh, with, uh, reconnect with her at a Moonshine's concert in Carbondale. And even though you make the work worst job possible, <laughs> in the warm street lights, she still kisses. How you'll be living in Los Angeles on Ben Stranahan's couch, <laughs> feeling lost and alone, and her love will inspire you to start a life to become someone who's worthy to share a good life with her. No. <laughs> that even though you feel stupid, she makes you feel smart. <laughs> How her affection, passion for creation, and love of poetry will inspire you to make a life full of art you never thought possible. Uh, you two will laugh every morning for 12 years in bed before you are literally forced to go make the coffee. Uh, how you will dance with her down the street, wine drunk from a small flamenco bar in Spain, and know that these were the only moments that mattered. Dear Johnny, as I write this letter, you're 36 years old, and a young girl with freckles and long eyelashes sits at the foot of your bed, holding a pregnancy toast, <laughs> tells you you're going to be a dad. <laughs> I want to tell you that with her strength, I don't have to worry. I know you'll be all right. I love you too. Oh <laughs> your love. <laughs> when Johnny and Sadie first got together, they shared a love for Leonard Cohen. His lyrical genius, his ability to make the simplest experiences poetic. One day when Sadie went to pick up Johnny at his dad's studio, she heard a new cover of a Leonard Cohen song that she hadn't heard before. When she opened the door, she realized it was Johnny singing. <laughs> and that just sealed the deal. <laughs> From that day on, that song was woven into the fabric of their relationship. Here to sing Chelsea Hotel number two <laughs> is Mia Folick mm -hmm. and background vocals from Oak Folick. Lauren mm -hmm. Books. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
could you say?